back. And we are back with the lovely Olga Rabalko. Okay, Valentine. Bill Higgins. What's happening? How you guys doing? Doing well. Yeah, Man. really well. Yeah. We've seen you guys, we've seen the work that you guys have done. And I've seen the work that you've done. It's, mm -hmm. you know, well, one of these days we'll actually get it where you can just put the photos up, the paintings up, and we just look at them mm -hmm. and look at them all day. Mm -hmm. But today we have you here to hang out with us because Battle of the Brush. Mm -hmm. yep. And you guys are four time champions. <laughs> 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 you love to say that. Sounds because good. Yeah. I know I went to the I went to the show and I was hoping that you guys were gonna be painting, but mm -hmm. just as you know, just you know, mm -hmm. just get in there, just do your thing and yeah. win it again. Yeah. But somebody else won. I mean, what's it like though doing a competition like that? Oh, it's it's always a thrill. Yeah. Like you never know what's really gonna happen on the night and sometimes you surprise yourself yeah. and the audience. Yeah, and it's just fun. It's pure fun. It is fun. Yeah. I wish I could paint like that, though, but I, it's not even close. Mm. Stick figure <laughs> all the way, man. you got to start somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, even the starting is not good. It's, no, 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 it's not good. Yeah. Now, with you guys, though, y you two have this. I see, I, I know you guys work off each other. Mm -hmm. And now, the... Um, I mean, how long have you guys been painting together to have this kind of chemistry? Yeah, we've been at this for three years now. Yeah. But the, the chemistry was there straight away. You know, like both of us came into it with no ego. Right. And, and wanting to learn from each other and, and try and better our own art by painting with each other. Yeah. So it's kind of a two, it was a, a one plus one equals three scenario. Right. It works out really well. It does. Yeah. yeah. Now, who, I have to say, I mean, is there somebody that kind of carries somebody through sometimes? I mean, if there's nights that you have, <laughs> you, <laughs> I don't want to say it, a night off. If, mm. is there somehow somebody carries somebody if, I've some, had a if few. that happens? <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, I, I love talking and I probably talk too much while we paint, but Olga is just always in the cam, it's just yeah. going for it. Yeah. Oh, no, and I think we both have our things that we're better at than the other person, but we kind of compensate, and that's why we yeah. work well together. Right, mm. because sometimes, man, I mean, there's certain people that just don't work together. Mm -hmm. And when the first time you guys met, you said there was chemistry, but what, has there ever been like an argument of, of throwing paint, no, I don't like this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, there, there's been three, uh, three arguments, which landed in a hug and a, a quiet drink after it, and just really, Figured out what the problem was. Yeah. Um, got over the the BS behind the egos and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, and we became better painters for figuring out what the, you know, the the root of the argument was. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, when 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 you say the egos, I mean, is it does artists, as an artist though, do you have to have that kind of ego to be able to, to step up in front of the camera and say, I'm gonna paint this? Yeah, I think sometimes you need that bit of confidence, yeah. but when you're working with someone else, like, you, you can't afford to let your ego kind of dominate, because right. then in the end, the collaboration is what it's all about, and coming together and sort of creating this piece together is mm -hmm. important, yeah. When you guys are in Battle of the Brush, do you guys, you get the, you get the theme first, or do you just have to go in blind? We get the theme about a month in advance. Okay. So yeah, we can we really get to talk about it and you know so figure you research, out what we're you kind of you, are you researching together or just kind of like just saying okay hmm I'm just gonna uh, maybe do this do this and then you run it by each other tell That's them like, what to do yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I like blue oh you like red oh well <laughs> no no we we come up with what we feel like you paint for the crowd at yeah. these events you know it's a you're trying to appease mm -hmm. the crowd get get them engaged with what you're doing so you you got to put things in there that they're gonna really like and and that's what a lot of our conversations are about in yeah. that situation and you know what we can I mean. Just, we look at this is what you guys are doing mm -hmm. the week of the last week or something right yeah and now when you guys are painting this for you guys what, what style i mean what style of painting do you do you like to do well that's kind of the fun part i'm a surrealist and very much a, into realism which takes multiple hours whereas yeah. You know, um, Olga's a deadly live painter, so it's a, <laughs> she paints at a, a high level of speed. So we, we, and Olga has her own styles as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm more of an impressionist. And yeah. Kind of a like to play with color and punch that up. And mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so. Yeah, so it all just comes together. Yeah. yeah. Now, who'd you, who'd you guys study coming up and in, in, to be artists, though? Um, I did go to university, but I also took a whole lot of classes and mm -hmm. just learning from other artists. And I think that's the best way is to learn from people who are yeah. experienced and they've done the hard yards and, you know, made all the mistakes. Yeah, yeah no, I agree with that. Yeah, you, you find pockets of older artists hanging around, but they're mm -hmm. the ones that have made all the mistakes already. So you, you latch onto them and find out what mistakes they made and, exactly. and then don't make that mistake. Right. Yeah. Now, coming up, though, I mean, there's Andy Warhol. I mean, you know, the Picassos, the, mm -hmm. all, the, all the people who paint. I mean, who really inspired you guys, though? Uh, for me, it was Claude Monet. Okay. He does all the water lilies. And, right. Yeah, he's the big impressionist. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was my favorite. Nice. And um, Salvador Dali, actually. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just, just twisted. You know, the mind is just in another place and trying to get to the absolute depths of imagination and see what you can drag out of there. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> you know, it, as an artist, though, sometimes, it's, it's, I mean, there's got to be some craziness going on in there, man, <laughs> to, be, to be able to get to this stuff on, on a canvas. I mean, what's yeah. happening in your head to be, oh. a, to be that artist? Yeah, we're all a little, a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we just uh, try, try and hide it. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you, yeah, it's, it's a madness. It, you can't help it when, when you have a painting in your head and you just got to get it out. Wow. Yeah. And I'm very much along those lines is that the stuff that I have in my head would stay there if I couldn't get it out on paper. So it's, yeah. it's almost an outlet to, to keeping your mind clean. Wow. I mean, you had, as, as you had some, some things happen to you yeah. where, I mean, you get, you had, it's leukemia. I had leukemia, yeah. And then you had a, a liver. Liver failure. Liver failure. That. Yeah, it's a, as a young guy and, I always say that that plays such a large role in my own art because it, it for one, it gives me a positivity about life and yeah. create you know, things that make people think a bit deeper. And, but, it's, um, but, but also that is that the art actually came in, in a lot of ways a way back to life. My family knew I was well when the, the pencil was magically back in my hand. Exactly, because that's great segue because I wanted to ask you, I mean, mm -hmm. what does it feel like when you have a brush in your hand? Um, it's, it's, there's kind of a few words that can describe it, but for me, I like to play, uh, paint a lot of places that yeah. I've been to, and sometimes when I'm painting, I just get in the zone, and it, it's like I'm there again. Like, I can hear the sounds and, you know, the beach washing up on the shore, and, yeah, it's, it's kind of a meditation. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's just the zone. I always remember a time, it's like when you wake up in an apartment, or a, you know, a hotel where you've, you've never been before, and that first, like, 10 seconds when you wake up in the morning, you don't know where you are. Yeah. Sometimes you come out of a canvas, pull your head up, it's like all the light changes around you, and you, oh, oh I'm in my studio. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it, it's a zone. It's an amazing place. It's a meditation. And, and I mean, and, and I always say it's a life worth fighting for. Right. Because you know what? I mean, for you being in that kind of situation, now, and you know about his situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, does it give you guys kind of the, the uh, something to draw back on when you say, okay, I'm in a tough spot. You know what? I've been in tough spots before. I can, we can come out of this? Yeah, I think so. And he inspires me in a lot of ways to yeah. just kind of get over it and keep painting and figure out a way to, to get through it. And yeah. 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 You know what? And, yeah. And that's the fun part about the live art that we do is that, you know, with the whole... Um, event painting that we do together. By the end of the show, you know the clients already bought the artwork. We can't, <laughs> we can't <laughs> not finish the artwork. So exactly. there's always this mm -hmm. this insane little battle to try and find out the right answer in such a short period of time. Just like yeah. the Battle of the Brush, 80 minutes. You know, there's there's an answer at the end of it, and we've got to find it if we haven't found it during it. So exactly. Just yeah. got to get it, get the answer out somehow. Wow. Yeah. Let me get you the on the grind question. I mean, there's lots of people who go to school to be artists, mm -hmm. and but there's also people who want to be artists who are out there, and they just can't find their way, or nobody's helping them. What can you guys tell them to inspire them to become, <laughs> you know, the artists that you guys are? 
Well, I have a pretty hard line about this these days. I mean, art is what life worth fighting for, but yeah. it's also a decision that you have to make that you choose the life of art. So as the moment an artist has an excuse, they can almost take a step backwards. You know, it's a, it, 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 there is no excuses when you're in the arts. You have to go for it and you yeah. have to create a life based around it. And, and quite often you'll find that, you know, your, lot of your buddies are out having a drink on a Saturday night and you're, you know, like still hooking into a canvas in your studio trying to get to the next level. It's, yeah. It's, it's not a nine to five job. <laughs> it's, a, it's a life decision. <laughs> That's an everyday thing. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Now, what's it going to take to beat you guys? <laughs> well, hey, Four-time champion, yeah. man. Yeah, well, we're always getting better, you know. So we we like to think that we're going to keep going that way, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys going to be in the next uh, the championship uh, in February or something like that? When it, it'll come around a, a little bit later in like quite a few years' time. Like yeah. so, we won the culmination of four years, and and um, and and so yeah, they have to go through another period of those four years to get to another competition that we can enter into. Okay. Yeah. Now, what's next for you guys? Um, well, we actually have a show coming up this Thursday okay. where both of our artworks are going to be displayed next to Salvador Dali's. Really? Which, mm. Yeah. It's, where? It's, where? Be, it's at the Vancouver Club and it's the Black and White Art Affair. Wow. Yeah, okay. it's pretty special. Yeah. That's, that's so big. there's that's going to be a, big, a that's big live deal. auction and yeah, it's gonna All be your great. paintings? Or uh, everybody else? Uh, other people? There's 20 artists. Okay. And we're lucky to be yeah, yeah. included in that. So. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Step by step, right? Step by step. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Showing next to my hero on Thursday night. Yeah. yeah wow. It's pretty special. I wish he was there to say good day and, yeah, you know, yeah, and say, how you doing? But yeah. <laughs> it's a, you know yeah, what? good enough. You've already made it, man. <laughs> well, you made it. Yeah. I want well, to thank you guys for coming. Thanks Ms. for having Olga us. Ms. Olga Rabal, Rabal <laughs> I'm going to get it right. Thank you. I can't get Ben Higgins in my Yeah, I did, but I said, she said, no, I said. No, it's beautiful. It's Bill. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, man, I want to thank you guys for coming. You guys do some fabulous work. And keep winning, because I want to talk to you guys each and every time you win. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> we want to thank my man Wes Mackey for coming out. And again, the album, Life's a Journey, go ahead and take one, because you know we're on the grind. And you know who this is. I'm your man Valentine, baby. And if you think it's your time to shine, you need to get on the ground with your man Valentine. Olga Rabalco, Bill Higginson, I'm Valentine, Wes Mackey. You know how we do it. We out. <laughs>